Public anxiety over the integrity of the electoral and legal systems runs deep, with many feeling that Donald Trump's statements no longer provide reassurance. Instead, they see a system that increasingly works against them. His critiques of biased judges and manipulated trials have become part of a broader narrative about institutional corruption, pointing to a deeper yearning for autonomy and the belief that external forces are controlling outcomes, stripping individuals of real political freedom. We have a whole rigged election system. Nobody's ever seen anything like what's happening. Now I understand yesterday they're bringing up Russia, Russia, Russia again, uh, that they've done for years, never found any, anything. Uh, but they should be looking at China, 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 Iran, 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 and lots of other places. Uh, I haven't spoken to anybody from Russia in years. They know that, but it's a scam. But it all goes back to the DOJ because uh, we had a trial today. It's an appeal of uh, a ridiculous verdict of a woman I have never met. I don't know. I have no idea who she is. She wrote a book and she made a ridiculous story up. She put it in her book. And we're now appealing the decision. We had an extremely hostile judge appointed by Clinton, very good friends of Clinton. Uh, I guess he married, uh, presided over the marriage ceremony of one of the lawyers on the case against us. And uh, it's very sad. Judge Lewis Kaplan, angry man. He was so angry. I went to the trial. I've been in a lot of litigation over the years. I've never seen such anger or wanted to throw one of our attorneys in jail. Who threatened her with jail. Nobody's ever seen anything like it over, over nothing. Nobody's ever, I've never seen such anger, but all of our judges, I mean, we had a, a brilliant judge and I think a very fair judge in Florida. I think we have another judge who's very fair. I just ask for fair. I don't want anything different from anybody else. I just ask for fairness. We have another judge or a couple of judges that I think are fair. But then we have other judges that I think the whole thing is, I think the system is a disgrace. Trump's ongoing claims of a rigged election system reflect a pervasive distrust in the political process. His rhetoric resonates with public concerns about election fairness, fueling fears that corruption and prejudice are undermining democracy. By referencing controversies like Russia, 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 and pointing to potential foreign meddling from nations like China and Iran, Trump taps into anxieties that the system is rigged against ordinary citizens. This sense of disenfranchisement is amplified by the belief that institutions such as the media and the court serve as tools to stifle conservative values and suppress dissent. Central to Trump's message is the concept of fairness, which reflects a widespread desire for justice. His depiction of judges as biased, angry figures reinforces the public sense of alienation from institutions that should uphold justice, but are seen as perpetuating inequality. For many, this narrative resonates as they feel estranged from traditional authority and increasingly trapped in a world where arbitrary rules favor the powerful and silence dissent. The anger and frustration in Trump's rhetoric taps into the psychological experience of being marginalized. His supporters see his criticisms of hostile judges and unfair rulings as a reflection of their own struggles with a system they believe is inherently flawed. Trump's portrayal of himself as a victim of institutional failure fosters empathy among those who feel their grievances are being ignored. This personalization of institutional corruption creates a powerful bond between Trump and his base, as they seek to reclaim justice in a world they perceive as manipulated against them. 